What's the area under a Gaussian curve? Pause the video if you want to go into this calculation completely blind. Otherwise, keep watching for a small hint. So the hint is the following. Rather than calculating the integral that we're interested in, namely the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity exponential minus x squared dx, we're going to calculate the square of that integral. So we're going to multiply the integral by itself. And then just for fun, rather than writing x here, we're going to write y, so exponential minus y squared dy. That's the same, of course, but now we can interpret the result as an integral over the xy plane. And then what we could do, just for fun, is converting that integral into polar coordinates. So with the substitution, x is r cosine theta and y r sine of theta. So using this hint, pause the video, make the substitution, and hopefully you will be able to uh, determine the value of that integral. Let's continue. The square of the integral now becomes an integral not over the xy plane but over the r theta plane. So with respect to r it will be an integral from 0 to infinity and theta will go from 0 to 2 pi. So that's a different way of covering the entire plane. So then we have exponential minus x squared here plus y squared. Now x squared plus y squared, that's obviously going to be r squared, okay? And then we have dx dy, so that surface element in polar coordinates becomes r dr d theta. So this is how we've simplified our integral. Now we can take this one step further and get rid of this uh, r squared here in our exponent. So we can make the substitution, for example, r squared is equal to t, which will give us 2r dr equal to dt. And the interesting thing is that the r dr that pops up here is also the same thing that we find just there. So that looks quite promising. Let's continue. So the square of our integral is, um, and then let's first focus on the integral over d theta. So there's nothing happening here with respect to theta, so we can just do that separately. So that becomes uh, 2 pi. And then we have the integral still from 0 to infinity. Exponential minus t squared. And then r dr, that becomes uh, dt divided by 2. So getting rid of that 2 now. Um, sorry, that should be minus t, of course. So this is how we, we, we simplify things. And um, now we have a pretty straightforward integral that we can just solve on the spot here. So we'll have pi. Um, and then the integral of exponential minus t becomes minus exponential minus t, which should be evaluated at infinity and at zero. So the result is pi. Um, and then at infinity, this exponential becomes zero and then we have minus minus exponential to the power of zero which is uh, one when the, the the signs here cancel so the end result is that the integral squared is equal to pi so the integral that we were after is just the square root of pi so this is how we solve this integral with a small little uh, trick <laughs>